In this video, you will learn how to use the radiometer PicoA lead gas aspirator syringe. Always follow your local hospital procedure when performing a blood gas sample. Make sure you are wearing gloves. Open the blister pack. The blister pack contains a syringe with a dry electrolyte balanced heparin brick and a tip cap. The syringe has a plunger stop at one milliliter. This is a protective feature that helps ensure the tube and plunger remain together. Take the syringe and gently press the plunger to expel excessive air. Perform the blood sampling according to your hospital's procedure. Fill the syringe with a minimum of 0.5 milliliter of blood. You can see the 0.5 milliliter mark on the PicoA barrel. Place a piece of gauze behind the lure and dislodge any bubbles by gently tapping the sides of the syringe right after sampling. Gently press the plunger and expel excessive air bubbles onto the gauze before placing the tip cap onto the lure of the syringe. This minimizes the risk of room air contamination and contact with patient blood. Mix the sample to dissolve the heparin. Invert the syringe several times to mix the sample. Do not shake the sample vigorously, as this can result in hemolysis. Make sure the syringe has a patient identification label attached to it before you leave the patient. Always follow your hospital's procedure on patient identification. Analyze the sample immediately. If that is not possible, store the sample at room temperature and analyze it within 30 minutes. Mix the sample a second time prior to analysis by inverting the syringe several times. Enter the patient information into the analyzer. Remove the tip cap before analysis. You have now learned how to use Radiometer's PicoA blood gas aspirator syringe.